Hey folks, welcome back to another Contrastly video short. I am Adam Welch and today we're going to be giving you a brief introduction to the brand new texture slider here in Lightroom Classic CC version 8.3. Now this is the first brand new slider we've had introduced since way back in 2015 with Lightroom 6, so it's kind of a big deal. The texture slider is different from the clarity slider in that it works on frequencies and not on contrast. Now frequency is just another way of talking about the texture in different photos and if you want to learn more about how that actually works please check out our Lightroom Mastery eBook. We've just updated that with a fresh chapter on the texture slider as well as our Decoding Lightroom video e-course. It's got a brand new portion that talks just about the texture slider in Lightroom Classic CC. Basically all the texture slider is going to do is work on the frequency areas that are mid frequency. They're not going to bother the high or the low frequency areas as much and that is going to give you a much more subtle effect than let's say the clarity slider or the dehaze slider would. Now Adobe has even called the texture slider a happy medium between clarity and sharpening and it works extremely well on portraits for skin smoothing. Let me show you. This is Jake and he was good enough to let me take his portrait a while back. If you've worked with portraits at all, you will know that if you decrease clarity, you get rid of some of those blemishes and those wrinkles, but it makes everything look extremely fake, very waxy, and nobody wants that in their portraits. What the texture slider does is dials that back, but still gives you a good amount of reduction as far as the blemishes go and the lines of someone's face so it really reduces the appearance of those blemishes but the best part about it is that you can apply it locally as well as globally and we can do that locally with our adjustment brush or any of the other tools up here in the local adjustment portion of the develop panel but you can paint in that skin smoothing effect wherever you want it and not in the places that you don't want it and that's an excellent way to locally adjust the skin smoothness of your portraits. Pretty cool. Again, if you want to know more about the texture slider, head over to Contrastly.com to our store and check out the Lightroom Mastery eBook or the freshly updated Decoding Lightroom eCourse. Until next time, I'm Adam Welts for Contrastly.com. Thanks a lot, everybody.